Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the word. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long. And it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started. And we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. This is one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it, and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. Reading have gone with a 4-5-1, Jim. Well, if you want to secure a clean sheet, Peter, this is a very good way of going about it. It adds discipline and lends a stubbornness to that midfield, which can stifle opposition attempts to, to play through and... It takes a lot of pressure off your defence, of course. Forces longer passes through the aerial route. So, all things considered, that extra layer across midfield is highly, highly effective. So, it's away we go then. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Well, who else but Hazard? A slalom like Dribbler who's afforded a certain amount of freedom to stray where he wishes. And He's also a more consistent finisher and the sharpest of turners in the box. I think the opposition defence agree too. He's going to be the source of so many of their headaches. William. And it's Iguain. Iguain plays it out to the wing. Now it's Iguain. Can he deliver? Well read, he sorted that out. That's a throw. And that's been levered clear. Chelsea have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Well, neither team has yet managed to impose any authority, and uh, as a consequence, this game's just drifted. Now, can he finish? it away and it's hoisted clear Iguain and he's shown him a clean pair of heels it's a good foot in there forward it goes played out to the right and it's got through oh sweet feet Ejaria Oliveira Cut out in the nick of time. Chance to break. And it's William. Higuain. Looking for space out wide. Not long till half time, and it is still goalless. Ejaria. Ejaria. And he's a big chance. Hazard displaying his defensive capabilities there. That's no striker's tackle. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his... The 
referee brings the first half to a close. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Unspectacular, but solid, and that solidity could yet be the foundation for them to, to go on and win. And after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. So we're just settling back into this second half. Reading playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half despite the scoreline converting chances would make a world of difference for them aimed long and direct now it's Kante and it's William and he heaves it forward Conte, Higuain, oh, and he's got good distance, who's chasing, aimed long and direct, in with a header, great ball to play him in, but he will be gutted to miss that, oh, it was such a clever pass that plummets the defence, and it could well be revisited this, all the way back, and they start again, Chelsea, Keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. William. Williams cross. Gets up to head it. Good delivery, but no joy. I have to commend the wing play, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Out to the left it goes. It's the through ball. A really good feat from him. As Pliqueta gets rid without sophistication. And the referee has brought play back and shown him a yellow card. Sit high. Kovacic plays it forward. Now it's Iguain. And now the breakaway. Now it's Azar. He goes long. Kovacic. Now it's Azar. Iguain. Iguain shoots! Took too long getting forward. Look, if they're going to counter, it has to be pacier and much more decisive. Marcos Alonso is holding his leg there, a worrying sign. Yeah, and, you know, I think it appears to have been bothering him for a while. He's better continue, it seems, albeit a little gingerly. Ball boots it to safety. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Now it's Oliveira. He's left his man. Ready. Merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Now it's William. Played into space out wide. Now it's Iguain. Iguain beats the offside trap. William. Good clearance and very necessary. One good cross, maybe the last chance. Chelsea showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. So the manager making the last of his changes. 
I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Echaria. And that's that. And stalemate. One, if not for fans, then perhaps for coaches. Satisfied by organisation and solidity. A little cutting edge at either end. And it finishes nil-nil. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Well, that was an exercise in teamwork, cohesion and, and doggedness, Peter. A refusal to accept defeat. Well, that's it for today. Thank you, Jim. And goodbye.